Hello everyone, welcome back to Whiskey Wars and today we have a peated Highland Scotch War on the channel comparing two sherried peated Highland Scotches actually. So it's a really interesting review today. We have the Glendrona traditionally peated bottled at 48% compared to the Arnock uh, peated sherry cask proofed at 43%. Now the Glendronach is going to be natural colour, the Arnock doesn't mention anything so I'd assume it's not going to be. The Glendronach also, oh that was a good cut, good cut pot, um, the Glendronach also has an extra cask maturation in it. So the Glendronach is aged in ex-bourbon PX sherry cask, which is a sherry cask that I really enjoy, but also port casks. The Arnock is just going to, it just says peated and ex sherry casks. Arnock is the peated line from the Nockdu distillery. And it doesn't actually mention what sherry cask, I can only assume it's going to be Oloroso. Now there's no point checking out the colour of the Arnock, but the Glendronach does have a lovely colour to it. With a little, it's like a golden brown with a t hint of redness in there. It's quite nice. And I have to be honest, I've heard, I've seen a few reviewers uh, slate this whiskey a little bit. And I, I have to be honest, I, you know from this channel, I'll always be honest, I've gone in a little bit too harsh on some whiskies in the past. Um, this whiskey, I, I, I think is a good one. I actually think this is a good whiskey. Right off the nose, it is so sweet. I get oranges, candied orange. but really intense sherry notes, but also cherries. And I'm thinking that's coming from the pork cask. It's full of rich red fruits, but also that candied orange there. It just, it, I love that orange sweetness. It's like a, a zesty orange with just a little bit of wood spice coming through, which is egg sherry, but also pork cask. You are gonna get some wood spice in there, you would imagine. It's really nice, the peat is there, but it's not strong, um, but it does complement it very well. Of course, the peat here, and probably the peat with the R not, it's gonna be a highland peat, so it's probably not gonna give you those forest, earthy, tobacco heavy qualities that island or isla peat can give you. That is a, it's a nice nose, very nice nose. Onto the R not. <clears throat> Whew. Okay, so the experience is going to be very, very different. And I'll let you into a little bit of a, <clears throat> a revelation actually that I had. I actually preferred the Arnock before I opened the Glendronach. And comparing them side by side, this revealed a quite a strong vinegar note, which I personally don't like. I love vinegar. I love it on my foods. I know it's mainly a UK thing is vinegar. I know people from outside the UK, especially America, they, they don't really like vinegar. I do, and yet in a whiskey, I don't. It's just not the sort of thing that I want to be smelling. I want peat, yes, but I want sweetness. I want sherry sweetness, rich red fruits. Vinegar is just not what, what I want at all. And there is a vinegar note there Coupled with the vinegar, it's a little bit stronger on the peat, I think, than the Glendronach. And the sweetness is going to be a toffied apple. This does remind me a little bit more towards Halloween. I think this would be a good Halloween whiskey, actually, because toffied apples, peat, cold weather, dark nights. I think it, it does give me that vibe. It's just a shame about the vinegar. Just before we start with the taste, if any of you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, here's just a little reminder, please, to do so. It really helps the channel out. Okay, on to the taste. Yeah. I like this whiskey. Orange peel 
quite zesty. It's fresh. For repeated whiskey, it's fresh. That is something I don't say too often. But you're still getting some red fruits on the back end of it. It starts off with that fresh orange, develops more into the rich red fruits, but it's coated in a, in a light amount of peat. And if you don't like peated whiskey, it's still peated. So it might not be up your alley, but it's not a heavy peat. And actually, from having the Glendrona 12, from memory, I feel the sweetness in this comes across a little bit stronger and softer than it does on the 12 year. So that peat is really softening the whiskey down, but it draws out more sweetness as well. Although I will say this is also aged in pork casks, so it could be the influence of the pork cask. A decent amount of wood spice coming through on the taste, especially on the back end. Zesty orange, rich red fruits, a light coating of peat. This is a really nice nighttime whiskey. Now, what I will say is, I drank this whiskey quite a few times over the Christmas period. For me, it really suits that time period. Just a light bit of peat, that nighttime, early nights, darkness, cold. I like a little bit of peat in my whiskey, but it's also very zesty and fruity. It's a good one. On to the Arnock. Not as much vinegar as on the nose, which is good. A little bit is still there, unfortunately, but very different. More peated, as I mentioned on the nose, that carries through on the taste, but that toffee apple is coming through again, but it, it's gonna be a very uh, butterscotchy, Werther's original toffee. That is the sweetness here. I'm not getting red fruits. I'm not getting orange like I get on the Glendronach. This is toffee apple, Werther's original butterscotch. That's the sort of sweetness you're getting. So two very different whiskies. The wood spice is also dialed up a bit more in the Glendronach than it is on the Arnock. It's not a terrible whiskey at all. It's softer. The Arnock's going to be softer than the Glendrona. In fact, when I originally bought this, it was a couple of weeks before I got the Glendrona and I enjoyed it a little bit more. I think I've been spoiled a bit with Glendrona, and that, but that tells me something. And even when I go in for the Arnock now on its own, I'm picking up that vinegar note a little bit more and, and I'm enjoying the whiskey a little bit less than I was at the start. So I think this one's an easy one today. I think it's clear that I do prefer the Glendronach. It's, it's giving you just, it's giving you more complexity than the Arnock. Perhaps a little bit of ginger coming through with that wood spice, keeping it a little bit more lively and keeping that orange popping a little bit more with the Glendronach. I think there's a few more notes in here, um, but for you guys to decide, if you want something a little bit lighter on the peat, the Glendronach's going to be your way. If you like orange and red fruits, that sherry sweetness, the Glendronach's going to be more your way. But if you like toffee apples, butterscotch, Werther's Originals and a little bit more peat, you may well consider the Arnock. I'll quickly touch on the prices. The Arnock's also 43%, the Glendronach's 48%. The prices aren't that different anymore. The Glendronach, I've been keeping an eye on this bottle for a few years, and recently it's had for the last few months quite a significant price drop. So I purchased this whiskey for £43. So for me, it was a no brainer. The Arnock retails for 40, £45, £43. So about the same as what I got this on offer. This is now retailing for £50. But the Arnock also hit a sale i think i got this on black friday so I, I think i picked it up for around 33 pounds so that would make it a good 10 pounds cheaper than the glendronach however rrp what they're retailing now according to this video 
um, the 1st of February. This, the Glendronix 50, the Arnock is 43. So the Arnock comes in a little bit cheaper as you would expect. It's got one less cast maturation and it's 5% lower in ABV. But I have to be honest, this does not come down to money. For me, the Glendronach is the winner today. I think it's a good whiskey. I know some people aren't a fan of it, but I have to be honest, this is a good whiskey. It gets my thumbs up for sure. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please drop a like on the video and please click the subscribe button down below. It really helps the channel out. Thank you so much for watching the video today and I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey Wolf.